Hey, what's up you guys? Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. We are in my room. We are back in my room. I think literally a year ago was the last time that I did a makeup tutorial. You guys have been asking for a makeup tutorial for so freaking long and it's finally here. I'm gonna make it super fun, flirty, cute, easy. I feel like my makeup routine lately has just been like getting smaller and smaller but like looking better in a weird way. But yeah, today's video is gonna be a makeup video for Valentine's Day and before we get started, I did want to talk about my jewelry pieces if you guys follow me on all my social medias you guys know that these are literally the pieces that i'm always wearing and these pieces are from anna luisa so these are like my go-to ones i'll show you guys other necklaces that i love so this ring actually if you guys remember last year Last year, I was wearing this piece on my last makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day, and I've never taken it off since. I literally wear it every single time I go out. It's my ultimate favorite ring. I literally never take it off. So I'm going to start with this one because this one is literally my baby. Also, you'll always see me with a black pendant necklace. I had another one as well. It was like a little oval, and I love to layer it with their other necklaces because it just gives like a really perfect, like classy look. You can really like either when you're dressing down or dressing up, it literally looks perfect. Also, last year, I talked about these hoops which are these hoops I also never take off because you guys know that my hoops are literally the loves of my life pieces that I had last year were my hoops my ring and the other necklace that I had which was the oval uh, black pendant necklace and this year I got these new ones as well I love black pendant necklaces I don't know why I feel like it gives it like a really edgy look if you guys know me I'm very like edgy but girly black and pink are like my perfect like go-to's and then also I got this bracelet as well it's a gorgeous 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 bracelet I love to pair it with my other little dainty bracelets 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 and my gold watch so it's one of those bracelets that just looks stunning on by itself or if you can layer it with other necklaces other bracelets as well where where am i today so like i said i told you guys that i freaking love pendant necklaces like really thin necklaces so i also got this one and this one is also a black pendant one side it is gold so if any day you don't want to use a black pendant you can literally just like flip it around and switch it and it is black so anna luisa is having a 15 percent off valentine's day sale on their website it's literally the perfect give never ever go wrong for your significant other whether if you're a guy even though if you're a guy or a girl watch this or for anyone that you want to give a gift to whether it be your mom your best friend your sister to anyone like jewelry you can literally never go wrong for example me for my birthday for holidays for anything you can give me jewelry and i will be happy with the jewelry is never obviously something that goes out of style it's something that you can use a million times it's something that you can use every single day and it's a huge bang for your buck in my opinion at least you can never go wrong with jewelry and everyone loves jewelry so i think getting a perfect set is the perfect valentine's day gift I always like to get a necklace, an earring, and a ring or a bracelet. That's just my opinion. So it's super easy that way. If you're looking to get someone a gift, just get them a set. Whether it's a necklace set or a set of a bracelet with a ring or hoops and ring or just everything together. If you ball in like that, it's honestly even better. And you know the person is going to absolutely love their gift. It's gifts that never go out of style. And yeah, like I said before, I'm going to be leaving linked down below the names of the pieces that I purchased and also the link to where you can get the 15% off for Valentine's Day. So and now we can move forward to the makeup. So I know I haven't done makeup in a hot, hot minute. In a hot minute. Actually, let me get a clip for my hair. Or before we get started on my hair, actually, I know I'm going to get a few questions because lately I've been using my hair pretty wavy, like curly. I wouldn't say my hair is curly, but I'd say that it's pretty nice. I used to have super, super voluminous, like curly, beautiful hair when I was in high school. But, but obviously me, when I got out of high school or like my senior year, my mom started letting me dye my hair and I went crazy and I was constantly dyeing my hair and ironing my hair because everyone loves to iron their hair in high school even though I love to wear it curly then I started discovering the hair iron and I got a really good hair iron and it started like damaging my hair and obviously my curls started to eventually fade away and now they're currently coming back I have been getting not frequent haircuts but more frequent than usual but my hair grows back super super quick it's crazy and you guys have been asking me what I use on my hair and honestly I think the number one thing that will bring out your curls even though your curls naturally aren't coming out is is this so this is the Cantu I hope I'm saying it right natural hair comeback curl next day curl revitalizer 
so it's supposed to refresh your curls I think technically like let's say if you were to do your hair the next day like you can like just spray this on your head and it'll just like refresh the curls like dull curls I use it as soon as I get out of the shower when my hair is damp I will just put it all around my hair and it will literally just bring out the curls I got mine at Target and this has been my number one go-to thing I use so when I get out of the shower I let my hair get damp not completely wet you want it to be like kind of like half dry half wet then I use hair oil and I put it mostly towards the end because I don't put too much on my scalp because if not then it's just your hair is going to get super oily so I just start from the bottom and then just go to the top with the rest of the hair oil then I go in with this with the curl revitalizer and then I use mousse to kind of like set everything in and the mousse that I always use I've been using herbal essences mousse forever literally since high school I don't use any other mousse we're just gonna clip our hair back because we don't need our hair in our face hopefully oh okay Snooki. I already did my eyebrows off camera because they it honestly takes too long and everyone does their brows differently I'll just show you guys obviously the products that I use so for my eyebrows I've always used for a hot minute now the morphe micro brow pencil in chocolate mousse this one right over here it's so great and it's so cheap i think it's like five dollars and then i use any brow gel i have you can use literally any sort of brow gel next what i'm actually going to do is probably get started on my eyes like i said before my makeup routine has just like decreased and decreased and just gotten like less steps as it goes like now when i go out i just want to get my makeup done and get out the door like that whole taking over two hours to do my makeup no baby no we don't have time for that we don't have time for that so we're gonna get started on our eyes i'm just going to prep my eyes with some concealer i don't even carve out my brows anymore i don't even carve out my brows anymore i don't do it i don't have time for that i've actually come to realize that i like the not curved so clean out brow look i feel like sometimes it would look way too harsh i'm using the tarte shape tape in 275 light medium sand i just recently got shape tape again after many many years because i just feel like it's really really overpriced if you want a really good dupe for the shape tape i really really like the elf concealers also you can never go wrong with maybelline age rewinds that's my last purchase concealer from the drugstore i went back to using that one but the elf camel ones are super super good i definitely recommend but i got the tarte shape tape because i got a gift card to ulta so i really wanted to get it again <laughs> next i'm going to set my face with some air spun what is it try and true tried and true how is it what is that what do people say i don't know i've been using this baby for i don't even know what i would use before honestly and then and I'm going to lightly set my eye. So now that we got all that set up, I want to choose a palette that I figured that everybody would have. And it's my favorite one. It's the one that I use every time I go out. It's probably the only palette that I use. These two palettes are the palettes that I use every time I go out or anytime I do a look, you guys. I swear, I literally have a pile of my old palettes that I don't even use. And I try to use here and there because I feel bad that I don't use them. And it's like, girl, we spent all that money for what? So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. So as you can see, you can I'm pretty sure you can tell the color that I use the most. It's the best color. I love this formula and I love this palette. If you guys haven't purchased it, you definitely should. The formula is incredible. Hopefully they haven't changed it. I'm going to start with this color right here, which is like a pale. What is this color? Like a pale pink nude. And I'm going to just put that all over my lid. Super simple. So I'm going to take that color and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M521 brush. Pack my brush and I'm just going to put this literally just all over my lid and you guys this has literally been the eye look that i've been doing every time i go out every single time it's the same thing the same thing i love using these types of brushes because it's like super big and fluffy and so easy to get <laughs> makeup all over your lid so quick all right so now that we got that color on i'm gonna go in with this one right over here with this brown and this is a nyx number 16 brush so we're gonna pat that a little bit and start kind of like putting it on our crease what i like to do is just keep my eye open and then that's how i know where to start and then i'll just start blending like so like that this feels so weird doing a makeup tutorial but like i'm having a lot of fun yeah. there you go and then what i like to do because sometimes it'll start looking too dark and the pale pink will start like fading a little bit so i just like to retouch it just so it doesn't have like this super white cast under your brow and i'll just go back and then we're gonna do the other eye you want to map out your crease and then just pat there and then just go from there i forgot how to explain makeup
All right, awesome. <gasps> I just, uh, <laughs> I just draw a broken eyeshadow all over my floor and my socks. My entire leg is blue. <gasps> I made it worse. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna move on because if not, then I'm. <laughs> So I think now what I want to do is kind of do like my smoky liner and I do it super simple. I don't even do a wing liner anymore. So I'm using the Morphe E32 brush. So it looks like this. And what I like to do is I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to just pat it right there on our lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smoke it out. And then it's time to just smudge out a little bit and you want to focus the smudge more towards the corner. And then you're just going to literally go up and down like this and then what I like to do is kind of flip the brush the other side and kind of put it on my crease so it darkens up my crease a little bit okay I think I fucked it up a little bit but we're gonna we're gonna make it work it's fine you know what we're just gonna leave it like that because it's already smoked out as it is so we're just gonna let it ride and then we're just gonna continue to smoke it over here so it kind of fades into the dark so what I like to do when it comes to like making the, the look look like super girly and I guess what it'll make it Valentine's Day is my inner corner. So my favorite inner corner highlight colors have always been the colors Cube and Electric from the Subculture palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette. They're my favorites. I don't know if they sell the colors separately. If they do, I recommend doing that because I don't really use the Subculture palette for anything else. They literally bring life to any makeup look that you do. So I like to take the pink. I know the pink for Valentine's Day, but I do it when it's Valentine's Day or not. I think it's kind of like my signature thing when I'm doing my makeup is my inner corner highlight because it's my absolute favorite. So this brush is the Morphe M508 brush. Get this brush. If you're gonna get any brush out of all of these, get this one. It's the best inner corner highlight brush ever. It's like a little, like a little finger. And I like to put it right here and just pack it in. You see that? Look how pretty. And then, so first I pack it right on the inner corner and then I start going up to blend it all together. Yes, sir. Okay, there you go. Now it's time to put on our lashes. And you guys, another question I get a lot are on my lashes. And I wear the same lashes. I think this is Russian Volume by Kiss. I always use Kiss lashes. I always use the ones that are like the dramatic ones. I forgot what they're called. I'll leave them linked below. But lately, I've just been wearing drugstore lashes. And they've all been from Kiss. Because usually it's like an emergency. And I have to go <laughs> and get new lashes. And I don't want to go anywhere else or spend a lot of money. Because most of the time, I'm always losing my lashes too these are affordable and they last long if you take care of them these are dramatic oh i forgot my tweezer downstairs even with natural nails you guys i've just always been so accustomed to putting my lashes with tweezers that i i can't put on lashes without tweezers make fun of me for the to the girls who do know how to i know y'all can fight Ooh, and there we go oh i love these lashes i love a good dramatic lash <laughs> It's always the lashes for me that does it for me. You see? <sighs> so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the other eye. And then when I come back, we will do the face. And we'll talk about all my face products that I have been using. And I love, I'm pretty sure all my face products are drugstore. So I got you guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I did the other eye. So now it's time for the face. So my face is already moisturized. And what's helped my skin tremendously, even when it's... Because I have like combination skin, my skin can either be really really dry one day and super oily the next like it has a mind of its own this is the moisturizing lotion that i use so i use this every single day on my face i use this to prime and moisturize my face i use it when i get out the shower i use it for anything and it's super lightweight and it feels really refreshing on the skin i'm actually gonna put just a little bit more because hydration on the skin is always good and for primer this has been my favorite primer so this is the l poreless putty primer i'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this primer everywhere if you still are up with the makeup i don't know this came out a really long time ago this is like a dupe for a hundred dollar primer i forgot what it's called you guys i'm so out of the makeup loop it's crazy and i like to put it in the areas where my pores are pretty large which is under my nose on my nose and on my cheeks and on my chin basically everywhere and a little bit um in my forehead over here and it feels super nice this combination with the cerave moisturizing lotion oh, feels 
so good. So now it's time for the face. So again, a do for the tarp shape tape is the e.l.f. Camel Concealers or you can use the Age Rewind from Maybelline. Again, I'm going to be using the same Tarte Shape Tape. I like to do concealer before I do foundation and after I do foundation. I know it's a lot of concealer, but as you guys can see, I don't even have to say anything. So I'm going to put a little under here. I don't do too much, obviously, because we're going to be putting on foundation and then concealer again. And then I like to put it under my nose because I do get some redness sometimes. I like to just like kind of carve it out over here so it gives this like a nice clean look just in case the eyeshadow kind of got like all over the place that happens to me all the time okay so now that we lightly concealed now it's time for foundation and the foundation that i have been using recently a lot has been the wet and wild photo focus golden beige foundation i got this on sale at ulta for like three dollars i think it's super lightweight and it's a pretty i'd say like a medium coverage look it's like super light it feels like water on the skin and that's how i like my foundations to feel like watery because i don't like the feeling of a lot of makeup on my face hence why i've told you guys that my makeup routine has just gotten smaller and smaller i'm not kidding i even use like less foundation i just use whatever foundation i already put on my face and i just go with it and then of course you want to go down your neck and it literally feels like I have nothing on my face. It feels so good. Now I'm gonna conceal a little bit more. Gooch, gooch. Use the same sponge that I used for the foundation so the concealer doesn't look like too, too much. And I'm going to dip the sponge. I like when my sponge is like a little, little, little bit moist not completely wet when i use my setting powder i know some people set their face differently this is just how i do it always make sure to set under your neck do not forget because that's how you get makeup on people's clothes i don't know how some people can put on lip product without like cleaning their lip oh my goodness i cannot especially since my lips are naturally super dry super dry and I'm always drinking a lot of water. All right, so that's enough. I usually don't let my face bake for that long anymore either. I don't have time for that. Now it's time for bronzer. My favorite bronzer of all time. This is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. It's really old. It broke. And I'm so sad because it's my favorite bronzer ever. Ever, ever, ever. And I lightly bronze. I literally just take whatever is on there. And I start at my temple. I start at my temples on my forehead. And then I just kind of lightly just go there's no really technique to it i just kind of do like a c and i pat it right here just so it blends really nicely and that's it i like to do this with my cheeks just so it's all even so now that we got bronzer now it's time for blush so blush i've also been a super huge fan of because i think it looks so freaking cute so i'm using this no blush this is in desert rose i got this i think in a boxy charm once when i used to get a boxy charm so i'm using this morphe e31 brush even though i think i put too much and i'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheek lightly and then i'm going to also put it on my nose who loves lately the trend of putting blush on your nose and then i'm going to just with the excess, I like to blend it in with my bronzer. And I think it looks super flirty and super cute. Doesn't it look cute? And lately, I actually haven't been using highlighter. But if you want to use some, maybe today. We'll use a little bit today, actually. Fuck it. So this is the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. And it's incredible. This will last you, I think, for your entire lifetime. Can you see? Will it focus? Look at that there's so much and any single time i use i just use what is on the cap that's all i use we'll just put a little bit right here you see and it's cheap wet and wild has amazing products it's a nice little flirty of course on the tip of the nose right above the brow so when you take pictures it looks nice and cute that's another trick of mine so for the eyes if you want to keep it dramatic obviously you can do black in the bottom and then just smoke it out with the other brown that we use or if you want to just keep it nice and light i'm going to use the first color which was the pale pink and then just put on mascara and that's it and i'm using the luxie 223 short shader brush one of my favorites on our under eye just kind of brush that color that we use for our transition color 
And that's it. There we go. And then we're just gonna put on some mascara. We are all set, so now it's time for lips. I told you guys in my last vlog that these are the two ones from LA Girl that I've been using. So one is in Cafe and the other one is in Sugar and Spice. I wanna do kinda light. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is my number one forever. This is the Spice Lip Liner from Milani. I've had so many of these, you guys wouldn't even imagine. There's the outline, you guys. I'd be outlining the hell out of my lips. Okay, I think that'll work. Oh, this color, you can never go wrong. So now, oh honey. To finish it all off, I'm going to use this LA Girl setting spray. This is the Fix and Set Makeup for Extended Wear Spray. It was cheap and it works good for me. Also, the Nick Nix, no. The Wet n Wild setting sprays are amazing too, but I just got this one just to try a new one. We're gonna set our face. Now, we're gonna put on some lip gloss. So I talked about this right here this baby in my vlog letting you guys know that this has been my go-to lip plumper lip gloss that i don't really do lip gloss but now i do it's an amazing lip plumper and it's super super inexpensive i think it's like five dollars again i should probably look it up i'm just assuming but it's really cheap and this is the la girl lip plumper the tinted lip plumpers i know it comes in a clear one but when i went to ulta it was this was the last one and it was in pink Okay, we are all set and I think I'm going to switch my necklace so you guys can see how gorgeous my other necklaces look. Okay, you guys, so here is the other pendant. This is the other pendant necklace. This is the black one that you can also switch if you want it to be gold. I just thought I'd put it on for the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had so much fun filming it and doing my makeup on camera with you guys and letting you guys know what my current makeup routine is that goes perfect for Valentine's Day. I will be leaving everything linked down below, everything I use and all all my recommendations also make sure to check out Ana Luisa's sale Valentine's Day so you guys definitely don't want to miss out it's the perfect Valentine's Day gift and honestly it's the only jewelry that I wear that I absolutely love if you guys truly follow me you guys know that I am not lying you will see these pieces in all of my pictures and they're just my absolute favorite I recommend it 1010 percent it is gorgeous pieces there's pieces for every single style of jewelry and I'm just obsessed. Again, everything is always linked in my description box as well as a link that will lead you to the sale. Let me know if you guys purchase anything. Send me pictures so I can repost them on my stories and I would love to see it. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos every single week. Let me know what more you want to see from me. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, OnlyFans, Poshmark. And I think that's it. I don't know. I'm everywhere. Always remember to be kind to one another. I love you guys so much. And I will see you on my next one. Mm -hmm.